Welcome back to another video on the dream game. I'm super, super excited with how this is turning out, and I'm just, oh, I'm so happy about this game. And I wanted a way to add some more flow. So, of course, we have this tunnel that goes all through the mountain and comes out this way. Uh, but look at this. Instead of having this as a flat turn, I made it go up and around, and we're gonna, you know, put terrain mountains around that, so it seems like you're kind of going through the mountains. Another thing I did is added this. I have curved onto this, and I made a little bridge here that goes kind of over the spawn so I plan on you spawning right here in like the middle of a city and then walking straight this way to the dealership and you'll kind of walk under this bridge. I think it'll be pretty cool. I still have to add support beams and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, that leads us to the dealership, which is what we are going to be making today. I can go ahead and delete my text, and uh, let's just get started. I guess we could close the toolbox. Kind of takes up some pointless screen space. Anyways, I'm going to be modeling this dealership off of a Maxim Power Sports. It's where I've bought, I'd say, two of my motorcycles uh, that I've had. Uh, I have one currently and then, you know, one in the past. But I think it will be the perfect dealership to uh, kind of model after. So that's what we're going to do. I want a little bit more space. This will be an enterable building, meaning it will have interior as well. Will we get to that today? I sure hope so. Anyways, I've made this pre-done for the windows, and I think I'm going to have... Let's see. I have a reference picture. Oh, and I guess I could show you guys that. This right here. Now, I can't use actual brand names, I don't think, if I don't have permission to, and I don't have permission to from these guys. So I can't use their actual name or anything. Thing, but we could still make it happen. It looks like the bottom, let's go up just a bit, and it looks like this is a nice concrete, so let's go to our little things right here, and let's see what looks the best. Had to load for a little second. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. This is actually kind of nice. Um, not for the ground, but I do like that. We're gonna keep this one for now. I don't think it looks too bad. Of course, the inside will need a different ground. This is more so the sidewalks. Up next, let's grab this, make sure our movement is on uh, something of an increment. Ooh, 125. That is that is small. Let's change that to 0.25. There we go. And we're going to move it in twice on the sides, and our walls can be about this thick. Now, this has to go back some, like so. And let's see. So, let's say we have a window that's this tall. It would sit just a little bit above the ground, maybe about here. Yeah, I'd say this height is a pretty good height for our building. And I also want to make it brick. So, let's do that. Material manager, let's go over to our bricks. I'm going to just type it in. And now we have a bunch to pick from. Oh, wait, I have to go to materials. There we go. Uh, let's see. Rounded? That does look pretty nice and new. I kind of like this one even better. Let's try this one and then go this, like, lighter tan that this building is. Ooh, can we even get that light without looking, like, ugly? This one definitely has, like, a red tone on it. I think we're gonna have to go with, like, something like this one. And then for the building, less yellow, more brown. All right, we're gonna go with cloud gray. Um, I think this is about the closest color we're gonna get. Let's move this out of the way for now, and then let's do duplicate this over to the other side, making sure we stay two in from the outside. So right there, and then it's going to need to be a 0.125 and go one more in. There we go. Now we can add the back of the building, get rid of the Z fighting, of course. There we go. And I don't know what windows and stuff I'm putting on the back. Probably none, honestly. A hey, not too bad. Up next, I think I want to cut these like in half. Oh my gosh, I forgot a window. All right, let's cut these. Let's cut these in like half. I'll just delete this one and then duplicate this one over. And then we're going to make that area that kind of comes forward a little bit in front of the building. So we'll just duplicate, move this out a little, out to here-ish. Duplicate again and make the front one. Also, Roblox devs, um, if there's not one already, who wants to make a mirror plug-in? I feel like it'd be great to have on Roblox, man. I'd say this is a big enough doorway. Uh, we'll do a double door, though. So let's bring these in a little bit, uh, and then we'll just duplicate this right here and drag it over. Nice! Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in in all the gaps and then i will be back oh oh i have okay hold on i have an idea all right fellas i gotta be honest we're actually gonna go all the way down to the top of the windows and then we're gonna duplicate this and then let's see we'll scale it up a little bit bring this up to about here here. Yeah. Then we're going to duplicate that and move it up to about here, I guess. And now we're going to duplicate it again. Go to our scale. I know it's it's a bit messy right now, but it'll be great in just a moment. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate this one more time. I hate how the, the thing moves. It's like a mini game every time you want to duplicate something and put that right here. There we go. Now we have our actual like building thing, I guess. And now I have to grab this inner line one more time and we're going to lighten those up 
to like an actual gray if possible i should also delete this and this and this and no yes Ye yeah i think and then we could just scale this across one of the biggest things i've been working on with this game is really learning optimi optimization and stuff like by the time this game comes out i'm hoping players can be on phones they can be on xbox uh an old tablet from the 1990s literally whatever you have i'm hoping that you're able to play this game so optimization is definitely a huge part and another reason i may not be able to use these trees but at least for now we're gonna continue hoping all right so so we can't really get an accurate gray color with these bricks so we may have to change our um our material here to something a little bit different here's painted brick which doesn't exactly look awesome but it doesn't look horrible either let's open that one up and try to switch this to organic no no that that's not it chief maybe we'll change color to a gray all right it's not horrible not my favorite that's not great all right let's actually let's go off of this we have gray brick now our studs per tile let's move that to like three okay one two it is yeah that doesn't look too bad actually i like those all right so our main shape is doing pretty good let's uh drag this out to the other side and then the same with up here as you guys can see i am deleting parts each time i can uh just to kind of make everything connect with the least parts as possible not too bad i'm gonna duplicate this drag it down to the ground and these are gonna go underneath the windows as well just to add a little bit of extra decoration now i could keep this as one part and just go back 0.125 something like that i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do because uh it just you know one less part do it on this side as well and it adds a little bit of depth to the building not mad at that let's duplicate it and throw it on the other side there we go and the front over here uh the one in the picture definitely has a lot more space so i am gonna go a little off the book here okay we got like one full brick and pretty much one full brick yeah that looks about the same <laughs> we're gonna grab these and i'm gonna move them to the front so we could try something up here as well we're definitely going off our reference point though but i guess as long as it looks good i can't really ask for much more so let's bring this up forward throw it in here oh it actually perfectly fits almost i'm gonna make it perfectly fit so i want two windows there we go let's grab this and this and and we're gonna just scale them over this way a little yeah that looks pretty cool dude heck yeah just delete this and i'm gonna just grab like both of these line them up there we go then line up this side and of course fix the brick on the bottom yeah not too bad i do think black windows are a bit too dark so i am gonna make those some sort of a blue probably uh i'm thinking gray blue something like in this area i think looks pretty all right reflectance up a little bit oh yeah reflectance was a big change that helped a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some outside decoration to this, and I guess we'll just hit y'all up when I get a little more done, because I have no idea for interior yet, and the ceiling of this place, or the roof, will be the same as the factory one. It just makes the most sense, and it's only a couple of parts. All right, guys, we've added on the ceiling, or the roof, and we've also added a little bit of plants out front, just to kind of liven up the area. I am really liking this, because from spawn, it's right under that bridge, and it's just like, I feel like it'll draw players that way of course you know there'll be an arrow like hey go this way guys you'll be awesome anyways it's time to move on to the inside and for that we're gonna duplicate the roof and drag it down and we're gonna use it as the floor also now the inside of this place is uh mostly a wooden floor which is pretty interesting they do have mats that the motorcycles are on and at different locations they have it a little bit different of a way but for now we're gonna go with a nice wooden floor i want to keep it kind of light let's do our material manager and go to wood and delete brick out of our search terms there we go and i want a wood plank so let's see this actually doesn't look that bad it's a bit big let's see studs per tile one. Oh, we are on the wrong one <laughs> wood are we on this one i believe so all right let's see studs per tile let's move this to like five i think that's better i do think that's better all right the ceiling is all like ra raptors rafters what are those called the, the beams <laughs> and i don't know if i'm gonna do those or not i do want to kind of save 
on part usage but we can get the walls nonetheless so they do have one brick wall which can stay like that and then over on this side this would come in we'll go out one and it goes up to the top and this is no longer brick it's more of a painted wall so let's see what we have for that special no i'm gonna just type in paint okay worn paint no you and more you okay paint's not a good option i don't think brick is gonna be the best option stucco's not bad it kind of gives a little little like depth ish but it does seem a bit harsh honestly dudes we're gonna use fabric <laughs> i feel like that's okay now we are gonna wrap this around it will go to this side as well is this sticking out yep this will cover this whole back wall as well and then the bottom of this back wall will be a tan let's go up a little bit no that might look stupid or awesome we're going up a little bit switch this to a nice tan once we get some light in here it will help liven up the place quite a bit as well we will make this entire wall uh tan i guess just trying to think of ways to uh liven it up a little bit we'll keep it like this for now now i want the i'm guessing you'll talk to a guy i haven't really like thought this through yet but i want that back here and let's go ahead and add a wedge onto this which could also be our fabric material and ghost gray let's bring this down to the ground we can have some sort of like shelf thing behind them and then of course the desk in the front and let's make it cut off on one side so we'll just put an l shape over here not bad and now i want to go ahead and add little carpet-esque things so let's grab a block i'm gonna bring this like so or should we do separately let's do it like this make it a square so we're gonna just go 19 by point or yeah 19 we'll just do 20 yeah i think that works this will definitely be fabric as well we'll probably end up changing the other thing so fabric and then i'm gonna bevel it with beveler yeah that's uh we're probably gonna have to union that if we don't want clipping materials way better so now that we have that we're gonna throw a cylinder on top of it and that is what's gonna hold uh sort of a show bike i suppose maybe a game pass bike i, I genuinely i don't know yet guys a lot more i still need to figure out on how i want to do it in this game but overall it's coming out pretty good we'll make this some sort of a concrete asphalt it is center that a little bit better there we go and then we'll just duplicate it and let's put these on both sides it's kind of just to show off what is in the dealership and you would go talk to the guy to actually buy something and maybe we'll put one more here on each side i don't know if that's too cluttered but for now we're gonna keep it like that not bad you'll walk in be all nice not mad at it and we could have a couple motorcycles like not on pedestals as well lighting's gonna be pretty important let's grab a truss and if we use this we won't have to make all of like the beams we could just kind of use these and it'll save us on parts black of course looks like we're gonna need like three of them in lus we're gonna rotate these and then in the middle we'll go this way i think that's actually like really good idea big brain moves you can't stretch these out any further can you what i thought i had them on their max i'm not mad at it i am not mad at it connect that one and now we're just gonna grab these and do a couple of those looks good to me and now we need to do some lights which uh i may turn global shadows off of the ceiling yeah that actually helped quite a bit let's turn off shadows on like all of this i'm not mad at that yeah we're gonna keep global shadows off i mean that's that's quite the improvement we might still do spotlights on specific things later but for now we are gonna chill and these walls definitely cannot stay fabric now i think this place will definitely come quite a bit more alive when i put some posters in i've been reaching out to stunt groups and everything like that on facebook and a few of them have let me put their logos in the game so i think bella stunt seats yeah you can come over here and go into uh into our dealership because you actually supply a product and you're not like a, a team or something like a stunt team so let's throw this in here and let's untransparent you there we go and there will be a bunch more of these within the game as well so when that happens this will start coming together a lot more i'm thinking maybe we can have the bike spinning on these something like this Ooh, woo, 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 woo. all right there we go but guys <laughs> i do think that's gonna wrap up today video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.